In this video, I'm going to be explaining two backrooms levels that literally change everything that you thought you knew about the lore. The two levels are the Red Rooms and the Exit Anomaly. And I guarantee that you had no idea these things existed until now, considering they were just found last week. Like, you had no way of knowing. But no worries, Brugly is here to explain them all to you. Seriously, these are just flat out insane, and they will probably make you even more terrified of being sent to the back rooms in general. So without further ado, or any more blabbering, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So first up for the video, I want to talk about the Red Rooms. Now, judging by the name, you might actually think it's a pretty simple explanation, or even a repetitive level. Mm, spooky red level, mm, it's scary. Well, you're actually kind of right, in a sense, but you're also insanely wrong. You see, level Red Rooms is located deep in the first ever Backrooms level, which is level zero, which, as all of you know, is the first level that everyone gets sent to when they know clip to the Backrooms. Just a plain old level zero. It's normally a very easy level to escape and to get out of. In fact, it's where everybody learns how to noclip, typically. And overall, there usually isn't even much danger. Or so we thought. Because the Red Rooms has just been found a couple of weeks ago, and it's already been given a difficulty rating of Class 5, and is unsafe, unsecure, and a dead end. Which is way different than the regular Level 0's difficulty rating of Class 1. Anyways, the Red Rooms itself looks very similar to Level 0. I mean, it is found deep inside of level zero, but there are some obvious differences. One of them is the deep red color that absorbs every surface around you. The walls, floors, carpets, ceiling, and even the lights are red here. The carpet is the very first huge difference, and it's very, very rough to the touch. It's almost like you're touching steel wool. On top of that, it's also very sticky which contrasts the regular Level Zero's carpet because the carpet there is wet and slick and squishy, which is the opposite of this. Radio waves and any form of communication don't really work here, and they kind of work, but the deeper you get into the red rooms, they just stop. The layout is winding and labyrinth-like as well, just like the parent level, but if you noticed in the level classification where it says the level is a dead end, that is your ultimate fate if you get stuck here. Because there has never been any evidence of people escaping or no clipping or finding a way out of the red rooms. And that is a hugely dangerous thing for level zero and all of the back rooms. Because we have no idea if it's some kind of entity that takes people and eats them, or if it transforms those people into the entity itself, or if the level just swallows people whole. People are just disappearing to never be seen again when they come here, and it makes it even worse because everyone who goes to the back rooms gets to level zero. And that means that there could be thousands and thousands of people that have unknowingly wandered into the red rooms and have gotten stuck never to be seen from or heard from again. You can avoid the red rooms by not following the red lights on level zero, and if you see kind of a threshold where red meets yellow, uh, don't walk into it, obviously, because that is the last chance of freedom that you have. If you go past that red threshold, it's over. There's no turning back. You cannot go back the way you came. Either you get attacked by an entity of some kind, or you get swallowed by the level. But also, some people have apparently been sent here completely randomly, and they had no say in it, which is also really scary to think about. I think it makes the back room so much more terrifying if you have this chance of getting sent to level zero and never making it out of level zero to explore the thousands of other levels, especially since this was just now discovered. I mean, imagine how many people have fallen victim to it before it was officially cataloged. So yeah, this changes the lore because it makes the first level way more dangerous than it already was. Next up for the video is a huge new discovery regarding escaping and getting out of the back rooms, or rather, the lack of escaping and exiting the back rooms. So if you're a fan of the lore, you probably heard of a handful of levels that are quote unquote real exits from the back rooms. The Barrier, The Promised Land, and Level 399 are all examples. All of those levels people have claimed lead out of the back rooms back to reality, the real world. But this new level offers another example of people thinking that they did find an exit. But in reality, 
they found something much, much worse. So it's called the Exit Anomaly, and for now, it's classified as a class undetermined because it's such a new thing that we don't fully understand it. But the Exit Anomaly is a room that is accessed from a dark corridor deep in an unknown backrooms level. So people have gotten sent here while being stuck deep in another level, and they've kind of walked here and followed signs to get here. There's no overhead lights at all, and the only light you can see is the red glow from the exit signs that are on this level. Other than that, most of the spots here are pitch black and are filled with what seems to be chairs and tables and seats. The tables are typically rectangular, and they all have benches sitting, and in some cases there are chairs. That's all pretty normal, right? Just a backrooms level. So now it's time for the weird part. The exit anomaly apparently draws people to it. Like I said, those glowing exit signs, they lead the people to this specific room. The signs typically appear in dark hallways, and they kind of give wanderers this false sense of hope that they're getting led to an exit of the level, or even an exit to the back rooms. And it fills them with so much hope that they really think they're getting out of the back rooms that they'll follow those exit signs to this very single room. But as much as this room draws you in and lures you towards it, you have to resist it. Because those who have gone into it uh, have apparently been observed absorbed by the level itself. You heard me right, the level itself absorbs people. For some unknown reason, this room traps people inside of it and it keeps them from moving around. It kind of like stops their momentum completely. They're just, if they're running towards it, they'll just stop. And it does this until they literally unalive after a period of time. After that, the wanderer's body will then get absorbed by the room itself and sent to an unknown place. Of course, that's a really horrifying way to go, but this level in general is an insanely scary concept. The people who go here are so sure that they found an exit to the backrooms. They're so positive that they're going to get out and they're going to get back to their families. So they're running as fast as they can into this room without a second thought, only to be stopped in place and held in limbo until they starve out and decompose, which is awful. Like, can you imagine being so sure and so close to the exit and you're so, you're so positive that you're about to see your family and then you just can't. This might be the worst fate in all of the back rooms, and I think it should really change the way that you look and think about any exits that are mentioned or foretold or something. And everyone thinks this exit's real until they get sent and led to it and get pulled even deeper into the back rooms itself. And the reason this level changes a lot of the backroom's lore in and of itself is because at this point, you can't trust any exits. You have no idea which one's real or not, and this one everybody thought was real until they saw how it behaves. So for now, there's really no exit to the backrooms. Wow, what a great cheery way to end the video, guys. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed these two little levels. I know it was kind of different from my regular explanations, but I thought it was a pretty cool concept and a pretty cool way to talk about the lore in and of itself. If you want more videos like this, of course, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for everything. The channel is blowing up, just in awe. I love you all so much. We're on the way to 900k and then on the way to a million. We're getting so close. Thank you for everything. Love and appreciate you all, and I will see you later. Peace.